Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to create an ERD that's going to have a one-to-one -one relationship. It's a special type of relationship inside of databases that you don't see very often, but when you need it, it's really, really important. And I'm going to show you a common mistake that you might find when you go about creating a one-to-one -one relationship that you might want to prevent yourself from having. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. So over here in my Lucid app, I've got an ERD. I've got three different entities and I have two from our previous example where we create a one to many relationship. And now I want to create the one to many. Notice I've added a new entity, shipping labels. Now shipping labels has all the information I need to know to be able to go in and create a shipping label for an order. This is a great thing. We like this. However, there's a couple of things I want you to know about. Number one is notice that I have an order ID. Well, most cases, this is most cases, I only need to create a single shipping label for my order. Okay. So this is going to be a one to one relationship. And I can do this very simply. I take order ID and drag it from its little dot beside it over to my order ID. But notice why I do it. It creates the one to many relationship. This may not be what I want. So how do I fix this? Well, if I look up in my toolbar, you notice I have a, it, the two different endpoints. The first one is my one side. It's my left side where I started from. And then I have my mini side. And if I come down here, you're going to see a lot of different options. Things for if I have requirements or that they're optional. Now, some people really get big into this. I'm not so big into it. It's kind of up to you. But what I'm going to show you is this one down here. This is our one-to-one. -one. This is the one side, okay? So I've got one in the order. I've got one in the shipping label. And I have one right above it, which has a little circle. You might think, well, what is that circle for? Is that something I need to have? Well, I'm going to use this one just to show it. This is a one-to-one, -one, but it's optional. Now you might say, well, what does the optional mean in this case? Well, optional means I can have an order without having a shipping label. A lot of times a shipping label is the last thing that's going to be created. So an order gets placed online, they process the order, they pick everything together, they put it in a box, then they put a shipping label on it. So shipping label is the last thing that happens before it goes out the door. Therefore, I don't need to create that shipping label just yet. I'm going to wait till I got all my order together. And if you've ever ordered anything, especially around maybe Christmas time, you know that sometimes orders don't go out right away. So that's why we have that as an optional thing. So this is a one-to-one -one relationship, but there is a small issue. You might think, well, wait a second, why would there be an issue? Well, it happens to be with this label ID. Now, if you look at my orders entity and my customer's entity, I have an order ID and a customer ID. Those help me uniquely identify that particular entity. But in my shipping label, because it's one-to-one, -one, I don't need a label ID. Why? Well, because order ID is going to be unique because it's one-to-one. -one. Therefore, I'm going to select my label ID, come over here to my entity right-hand pane, and you'll notice I have an option to delete. And when I do that, Notice it keeps all of my links together. It just moves things up and it got rid of that label ID. So I don't need a label ID if I have a one-to-one. -one. Now, if it's a th thing where I could have multiple shipping labels for a single order, then I'm going to have a one-to-many relationship and I'm going to have to have my own separate label ID. But in this case, I don't. So I'm going to get rid of that field as it's unnecessary. So just a little thing to look out for to make your code a little bit smoother, more efficient, etc. Hopefully you like that. If so, you might want to stay tuned to see our next example. We're going to have a many to many relationship and how we're going to wind up solving that. So stay tuned for that video.